Okay, last example, and this is going to be how it comes up in the AP exam a lot, um, is something like this where we need to find what makes it differentiable. So suppose the function is this piecewise function, okay, where k and m are constant. So these are just numbers like 7 or pi or something. If g of x is differentiable at x equals 3, so at x equals 3 where they meet up, this function is differentiable, what are the values of k and m? Well, let's make sure we understand the definition of differentiable. To be differentiable, what are the two things that need to be true? The function needs to be continuous, and the function needs to be have the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of the derivative of g of x equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of the derivative of g of x. And this will give us two different equations. Um, and that's why there will often be two variables in the equation, because there are two different things that have to be true if it's differential. It has to be both continuous, and the limit of the derivatives needs to be the same for both sides. So what does it mean for it to be continuous? Well, the limit from the left and the limit from the right need to be the same. So the continuous one is I can just plug in 3 into these two values, and I can get that k times the square root of 3 plus 1 has to equal m times 3 plus 2. This is, con this is to be continuous. Um, so 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. 2k equals 3m plus 2. This is two variables in an equation, and that's not enough to solve. Luckily, we have this other thing that also has to be true. The limit of the derivatives from the left and the right have to be the same. And so I'm going to write out a formula for the derivatives. It's going to be between x is 0 and x is 3, not at the endpoints, so I don't put or equals 2. It'll be whatever the derivative of this function is. So the derivative of, this is a constant, the derivative of k squared of x plus 1. Um, this is, and I'm going to do this on another sheet of paper here because I'm running low on room. Um, this is k times x plus 1 to the 1 half power. This is a chain rule thing with a constant multiplier. So the derivative of k times x plus 1 to the 1 half power is k constant multiplier stays there, times 1 half x plus 1, I have to lower the power by 1. But it was a chain rule, so I also needed to do times the derivative of the inside. Now the derivative of the inside here is just 1 here, so it's not going to do anything, but it is something we need to look out for. So let's simplify this. This is k over 2 square root of x plus 1. So that's the derivative um, when x is to the left of 3, between 0 and 3, and the derivative when we're between x is 3 and x is 5 will be the derivative of this function. Now, m is a constant, so the derivative of mx is just m, and the derivative of 2 is 0. So the limit from the as x approaches 3 from the left has to be equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the right, and so we get k over 2, square root of 3 plus 1, I'm plugging in 3, the limit from the left is this, has to be equal to m. And this can simplify. So k over square root of 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. k equals, k over 4 equals m. And now I have two equations. This is a system of equations. Um, this one looks, I'm going to get rid of this fraction, I don't like this, I'm just going to multiply by 4 on both sides to get k equals 4m. So k equals 4m, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute into the other equation. When I have a, a system of equations, I need to use one of my techniques, and substitution makes sense here because we know what k is equal to, so we can just put in what k is equal to here. So 2 times 4m is 8m, and now we have an equation with only one variable in it, and so we can solve using our algebra 1 skills equals... 2, m is 2 fifths, and we have to go back and find what k is. So k was 4 times m, so k is 4 times 2 fifths. Um, 4 over 1 times 2 over 5 is 8 fifths. And so this is the answer because it was, let's make sure we actually answered the question. What are the values of k and m? m is 2 fifths, k is 8 fifths, and that is the answer to that question. If m is 2 fifths, and k is 8 fifths, then these functions will both equal each other when x equals 3, and the derivative of these functions will be equal to each other. So the limit 
um, of the function from the left and the right is the same, and the limit of the derivative from the left and the right are the same. So why don't you guys try one of these on your own and see how you do, and, uh, and then you'll get a chance to practice on your homework tonight. Good luck with that.